weather observation. One, one, four, two, Kulu. Wind, zero, eight, zero, at four, not. Visibility, more than one, zero. Sky condition, view, at eight thousand, five, hundred. Temperature, two, two, Celsius. Dew point, two, two, Celsius. Altimeter, two, niner, niner, six inches of mercury. Remark, density altitude, two. Taxi back, that gives you a little practice taxiing too. Alright. Mm -hmm. Tow bar removed, fuel selector and boom. Radios off. Alright, mixture rich. Where did you pick that tow bar? Uh, to the right hand side. Oh, oh, I see it. Yeah. I always look over and make sure I can see it. <laughs> Carb heat in. Yep. Ignition uh, on. Oh, yeah. Time it. Yeah, I had to order another tow bar. So, uh, somebody broke the tow bar Friday night. It cracked. Oh, the red one? Yeah. Oh, so I, I got it. I'll get it today. Uh, master switch is on. Yep. And our strobe yep. light strobe speaking. Light speaking. Uh huh. Uh, propeller. Clear prop. Clear prop. Good. Uh, yep. You got there. You see anybody walking around? Tell them get out of the way. All right. <laughs> uh, and then. Hit the starter and when oh, ignition on and then hit the starter. Yep. Okay, you're ready. Holding the code brakes. Uh huh. Yep. Turn the avionics on if you want. Looking okay, for the oil pressure coming up over here. It is. Yep. yep. All right. for taxi. Uh -huh. Just pull it out about a finger's width. Push in at the bottom sometimes or just pull it out. Yeah, there's a little friction lock. That little middle tab is a lock. Or Spring Tail Tower Skyhawk 826 Nile at 1 8 ready to depart. Yep. Skyhawk um, 6 9 or Lane. Do the run up here. Clear you can do it here. Uh -huh. right turn out All right. Yep. Clear for takeoff with the right turn out at 826 Nile Lima. Belt secure. All right, let's do. Good. Uh, flight controls free. Yep, yep, that's what you're looking for. Whichever way you point is the aileron that goes up, and then look out there behind you on the left side to see the elevators moving up and down when you're pushing it forward and back. Yep. yep. Can't really see the rudder, but when you're taxiing, you can see if it's working or not. Yeah. All right. Uh, not early. Fuel selectors both. Elevator trim. Good. Uh huh. Fuel quantity, we I checked that earlier. So yep. Fuel uh, mix is rich. That's before you take off. Yeah, but when you taxi, we leave it out a little bit until okay. you get down to the end. And then right before you take off, you do that one, or you do this one the before takeoff. Okay. Yep. So you get all the way down to the end, and then you check again and make sure you're ready to take off. You or you actually you've done this one. Yeah, you did the run-up. You can do it here. Okay. So I can... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's what back. you're doing. Yeah, yeah, you're doing the run-up. Okay. Go ahead. All right. You're right. Um, Push it right, down to 1,700. Yeah. Scott Raider 3 Sierra Charlie, runway 18 cleared option. 3 Sierra Charlie is clear for the option, 18. Cessna 69 Lima, contact departure. Over to departure, 69 Lima, appreciate the help.
And carpet all the way up. Yep. And then push it back in, all then right. pull the throttle out, make sure it doesn't die. Yeah. You can do it pretty quick after you get used to doing it. You just click over to the left, you notice a drop, go back to both, click over two clicks to the left, make sure you notice a drop, go back to both, pull the carburetor heat out, push it back in, pull the throttle out. It doesn't take a long time, but people sit there and look at it like, well, it's not moving, you know, once you <laughs> click it over, it's stuck. It's doing whatever it's doing. Yep. So, but people right. sit there and look at it for a minute, and I'm like, what are they doing? You know, it's not moving <laughs> anymore. It just does it one time. But, oh well, it takes however long it takes. Um, uh, let's see, radio set 118.2, that's all we're going to need today. Uh-huh, uh, yep, if we got flight following, we'd go on 126.6 on standby, but we never do that unless there's a lot of people out there. I don't do it. Uh, weather is... 124.675, it's on the bottom, radio comp 2. 2. 3 Celsius, yep. altimeter 2, niner, niner, 6 inches of mercury, remarks, density altitude 2, niner, 0. Zero. Okay. And if you're through with that, or you want to listen to it again, I think we're good. I heard wind to it earlier. Okay. One, two. Oh, yeah, you got your radio. You yeah. listen to it. Yeah. Okay, good. So we'll go ahead and taxi out there then, and we'll call them up. So we're going to stay in the pattern. Yeah, then after I got back from Tyler, Texas, I had a guy scheduled over at Berryville at 2, and I had to go straight to Berryville. I didn't have time to come home like I had planned on doing. If we were going to take the 182, I would have had a couple of hours extra. Because uh, it's faster, yeah. Yeah, and uh, so I had to go straight to there, and then I had to fly for an hour or two, and then came back. I was so tired. <laughs> Just call him up from here and say, Springdale Tower, 647 Bravo, that the T-Hanger is ready to taxi and we'd like to stay in the pattern. Springdale Tower, 6487 Bravo at the T-Hanger is ready to taxi for uh, stay in the, uh, request to stay in the pattern. Cut. Says to 6487 Bravo, Springdale Tower, uh, runway 18 taxi via Alpha. Do you have the current weather? We do have the weather. And taxi to 18. Taxi to 18 via Alpha. Yep, 87 Bravo. 8-7 Bravo. There you go. You're getting it. Next time you'll do it all in one call. Yeah, go ahead and taxi down to the end. Yep. Yeah, it's, it takes a while to get yeah. used to it, but after a while you get into pattern. You know, it's like a card. You know, it's like somebody held up a card in front of you. You say the same thing everywhere you go. Yeah. Yep. Pretty much. Yeah, a little bit, little, little changes here and there, you know. They may not have the weather there, or they'll say, I have Lima, or, you know, or down in Fayetteville, they say, I have, have November, or Oscar, or Papa. There's a block that they keep reusing all those letters over again, like N through Q or something. Yeah. Now, Tyler, Texas is a pretty big airport. It was nice. Uh, class D as well, or C? Yeah, D, D. Uh, but it looked like it could have been a C. If it was busier, they would have made it a C like Fort Smith used to be. Fort Smith used to have an Air Force uh, unit base there. Now it's drones. But uh, when they had A-10s there, but after that they had something else, I forget. Or maybe A-10s was the last thing they had there. And whenever they took them out, uh, the traffic slowed to such a... Three, sir. Charlie, runway 1, eight cleared for the option. Low volume the option that they one, didn't eight, have enough zero. to warrant the C airspace, Class Charlie. Uh, so it's back to D now, but they still have that mode C veil around Fort Smith. It's still on the maps, but you'll see it doesn't say Class Charlie. Uh, yep. I go by Fort Smith. A little bit. Every now and then. We went by Tyler. Tyler, going to Tyler, we went by Fort Smith. A lot of times when you fly by Fayetteville, you stay, if you go under the top of their, their shelf or the top of their class delta is 3,800 feet. So if you climb, you can go over the top of Fayetteville at 3,800 feet or above without talking to them. Or you can go around it if you're going to stay below 3,800 feet. Go around it, or you can talk to them and say, we want to transition the airspace from the north to the south. 
a lot of times you'll get to class Charlie or Bravo, and you don't even have to go into the middle ring. You just go outside underneath the Mode C bale or whatever. What's that guy doing? Okay, he's just going to land down here further down. That was, uh... <laughs> Yeah, he didn't turn base, he turned uh, final. Midway into the runway almost. Yep, yep, that's a short field takeoff and landing. I know that guy. He parks, uh, he's in hangar zero, the first one. Yeah, little bitty plane. He doesn't need much room. Parks on that first hangar closest to the, the taxiway. A uh, fun little airplane. So we've already got our run up done. You've got your mixture already. Rich. If you didn't have it, you can yeah. ridge it up before you take off. Make sure you have your flaps off yep. before you take off, unless you're taking off from a grass strip, and then you have 10 degrees in to get, that get up out of the mud. Yep. Yep. It keeps you off the ground, yeah. That nose wheel off the ground, that's the whole thing. If you're taxiing around in grass, you don't even need the brakes. All you do is pull the throttle out, it'll stop because of the friction of the grass and the, and the, and the rough soil or whatever, usually. And then you call him up and tell him you're holding short or you'll be ready at the end. He can call him up if you want. Bring down tower 6487 Bravo, holding short, ready for takeoff, runway 18. Cessna 87 Bravo, enter left traffic, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Left traffic, runway 18, clear for takeoff. That's 6478 Bravo. That's right. Yep, and you're steering with your feet. Don't you steering wheel. <laughs> I, I did my. Sit on that hand, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Seven eight instead of eight seven Bravo. Yeah, you transpose the numbers. I caught that. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't say anything unless it's. Does he says something? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He he's not gonna say anything. He mu he wants to make it as easy for you as possible. But if you're a, a smart ass, you know he may make it hard on you. Yep. <laughs> hold that right foot whenever you're ready. Give it full throttle. Rotate it at sixty. Climb out seventy five to eighty five. That's the guy. Yeah, I saw him take off, and he turned out really low. He's flying really low. That little tail dragger that just landed. He's like a half a pattern, or a quarter of a pattern. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and rotate. Yep. Climb out normally. Hold it up. Once you get off the ground, you want to hold it off the ground. Don't let it come back down again. Operator 3 Sierra Charlie, runway 18, clear for the option. That's it. Climb out in 75 to 85. Yep. This will be a full stop. Yeah, a lot of times, there's that guy's hangar, the one that's open facing this way. I see him quite a bit. Yep. That's it. If you want to slow down a little bit, you pull back a little bit more on it, it'll start to climb faster and slow down the airspeed. Those are connected. When you get up to about 2,000 feet, or at least 1,900 feet, we'll make that left turn 90 degrees. That's the crosswind. We'll go out a mile, then we'll turn downwind all the way down the runway till a mile past it. Go ahead and start your turn. Yes, good. Yeah, this is plenty. Even if you're not quite up to 1,900 feet yet, I usually turn by the time I get to that Tyson Parkway. Yeah. A little haze. There's some fog hanging in the valley over here. That's pretty cool. A couple places. So this is like Dawn Patrol, except that the sun's already up. Park this frequency. We'll see you next time. He's here, Charlie. Thank you, sir. Good day. Right now? Uh -huh. yep. Yeah, over this highway 265 is about a mile away. Okay. It's a good landmark. If you wanted to fly right over this highway, you could. 
and then it makes a little job, but we're going to go straight on the right side of that long ridge down there and then turn at the end of it. That'll give you more time to practice the final approach. It'll give us like a two-mile final if we go all the way to the end of that long ridge and then turn left. Okay. Yep. okay. Give you a little bit more practice. And then when you get to 2400, we're going to level off, pull the power back to 2200. Yeah, I pull it back quite a bit. We could have pulled it back when we got to 2000 or 1900 feet. Yep, keep pulling, keep pulling. All the way up to about 22. There you go. Yeah, 2000 or 2200 is normal cruise. Now we're downwind. Sometimes they'll say enter on the downwind, and this is what they're talking about, enter on this length. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes they'll say enter at a 45 degree, that's what they used to say all the time. As long as you get in there. And He didn't say uh, report midfield, so we don't? Nope, he didn't say anything, but normally we report base before we turn final. Or as seven Bravo, runway 18 cleared for the option. Runway 18 cleared for the option, 87 Bravo. Good. That's right. Yeah. Uh, are we going to extend the downwind a little bit? Uh -huh. okay. yeah. It's okay to do that even yeah. though he cleared yeah. us? We can turn any time we want. He's okay. cleared us to turn. If we want to turn right now, we could. Or okay. if we want to turn in five minutes, we could. He may cancel our clearance if we keep going for very long and somebody else comes in. He may say, oh, I don't know what they're doing. You, know, so yeah. you, you guys are going to have to give way to somebody else now. But yeah, we're going to go down to the end. And that gives you about two miles. Yep. Uh, practicing that descent and getting that visual of what it looks like when you're coming down just right. So just past that water tower? Or? Yeah, just yeah. past that water tower or go on around the end of it. There's another little bit of uh, distance, like okay. 100 feet or 100 yards maybe, that's got a little bit of ridge. So it's crabbing into the wind right now because I'm not... Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, it looks like we're going a little bit to the right. But the heading's the same. Yeah. Good morning, Tower 86 West Mission. Go north on Alpha. I'm in front of the terminal. A6 Tower, good morning. Proceed north on Alpha. Thanks, Tower. Proceeding now. So before we do our landing, we're going to do the checklist. Seatbelts on, gas on both, mixture rich, carburetor heat on, landing lights on. Go okay. ahead and turn the landing lights on and the carburetor heat on. Yep, all the way out, uh -huh. Yep, pull it all the way out. If it's less than 70 degrees, and when you pull your power back below 2,000 RPM, they recommend you use that carburetor heat. Okay. You could get carburetor ice. Yep, and then start your turn whenever you want. If he hadn't cleared you to land by the time you get to here, you just call him up and say, I'm turning left base for 1-8. And then he'll go, oh yeah, you're cleared to land. <laughs> yep. Sometimes they'll do that. They may be on the other phone, or they may be... I don't know, fixing coffee or something. Sometimes it takes them a minute to, to get back to you, but they don't forget about you for long. They may be in the bathroom. I don't know. You know, but sometimes you'll call them up and they'll say, oh, okay. six hold short of runway 18 for inbound traffic. Yep, keep Thanks turning. Yep. Short. This is the base leg. And then go ahead and start turning towards the final. If you turn a little bit earlier, it's okay. If you get around there too soon, you can just take a little bank angle out. If you wait too late, though, and you overshoot it, you've got to come back to it again. It's almost like you're turning right base. Yeah. Yeah. So we overshot it just a little bit. It's okay. We'll just go back over it easy over there onto the final, just like you're looking down the pull cue, or you're looking through your sniper scope. Yep. Yeah, the wind probably helped push me too far, right? No. No, we no. just didn't start turning soon uh. enough. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. It's not that much wind. So again, go through your checklist. All right, belt so on, gas on both, mixture rich, so carburetor heat on, landing lights on, flaps and power as desired. As long as you're going below 100 miles an hour, let's pull up a little bit and slow it down to 100 miles an hour. Now put in 10 degrees of flaps. Yep, and we're going to stay over here on the right a little bit. Good, there's 10. If you want to put in another 10, you can. There's 20. Yep, and then one more. All right. That's your 30. So now that we've got all the flaps in, we're going to come in at 80, pull the power back a little bit more. We're a little bit high because we've got all white lights. We're going to come in about 80 miles an hour. When you get to the runway, you slow it down to 70 and you touch down at 60. There's one red light, so we're on the glide path now. I'm going to help you out a little bit. We're going to get lined up on this final. There we go. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 
long as you keep your airspeed up over 80, you're doing good. You can pull a little bit more power out if you want. We know we've got it made, and we're getting, we're getting all red now, so we're getting a little bit low. But once you get to Jones Center, you can ignore those red lights. Okay. Just watch your airspeed. We're going to cross the runway at 70. Yep, if you have to, add a little bit of power and then take it back out. Usually you just need a little bump of power. Take it back out. Pull the power out all the way. Yep. Hold it off the runway. We're going to apply parallel to the ground. This is called the round out and then the flare. Good. And then once the nose wheel comes down, you can start applying the brake slowly and then more is necessary. We're going to turn here at alpha three. Good. Okay. Yep. And then once you cross the runway, uh, the striped lines over there or the railroad tracks, turn right and keep giving it a little bit of throttle. A little bit. Proceed on runway one eight. There you go. Tire proceed south on one. Once you cross the railroad tracks, then we'll stop. We'll be on the taxiway and we'll clean up the aircraft and take everything off that we put in when we were landing. Good. All right. Six, six, yep. seven Bravo, you gonna taxi back? Roger, you like to stay in a pattern with full stop taxi back, eight seven Bravo. Just eight seven Bravo, runway one eight taxi be alpha. One eight be alpha, eight seven Bravo. All right. That's all there is to it. Take the landing lights off if you want to. Right. That little button over there. Yep. And then remember to put it on when we get ready to land. Some people forget and they leave it on the whole time, which I don't mind. I don't say anything about it usually, but I'll try to remind them once or twice. It helps with the checklist to keep it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, remember that you're doing the landing checklist down there, and then here you're doing the takeoff checklist. Yeah. Exactly. You can memorize those. They should be memorized. Eventually you'll have them down yeah, you just think about it. Is this the run-up area? Is uh, that, some yeah. people come out here and do the run-up. There's not one at the other end. You've got to do it on the taxiway or do it before you get there. I always try to do it before I get there. If you do it on the taxiway, you might have somebody come up behind you while you're doing it, and I don't take a lot of time doing it anyway, but some people do. I'll be sitting here waiting for somebody in front of me to do the run-up. I'm like, why didn't they do that over there? Yeah, yeah. HM Bravo, holding short at 1-8. Here with our hands. I think okay. it's Springle Towers, Test 8, 7 Bravo, shorter 1 8. Test 8, 7 Bravo, Roger. Okay. You. <laughs> he heard A6, you. A6, thank you, sir. And Test 8, 7 Bravo, enter left traffic, runway 1 8, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 1 8, 8, 7 Bravo. All right. And power A6, clear. <laughs> A6, thanks, sir. Yeah, he's clear. Whoa. Good. <laughs> Climbs up off the ground there and then keep it over the center if you can. You kind of practice landing whenever you're taking off. Also, you're maintaining that center line. Yep. And look at the wind sock. It's just drifting. Uh, There's not much wind. But a thousand feet above the airport, there could be a good current going. We don't know until you get up there. You don't know. Right now, you think? Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Yep. This is the crosswind. It doesn't matter which way the wind's blowing, they call it a crosswind because you're supposed to be taking off with a headwind. But you could have a crosswind when you take off, and this might be the headwind. Yeah. But they always call it the crosswind turnout. 
And if, yep. we, if we were on the uh, Class E airport, we would call the base or call uh -huh. Crosswind and base yep. and downwind. Yep. Pull your power back to 2,200 or 2,200 RPM. There you go. Yeah. And then keep climbing a little bit more to 23 or 2,400. You can make it downwind or whenever. Yeah. There's no hurry. Just keep flying at 85 or 80. Yeah, some people will start losing altitude on the downwind and then turn base. Some people will wait until they turn base to lose altitude. They'll start their descent down after they turn. Some people will wait till they get to final and lose all of it on final. It's just whatever choice that you want to make. If you want to start losing altitude before you get to base, you can. Or when you turn base, you can start. I usually lose about 500 on base and 500 on final. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You're just calculating. I'm climbing a thousand feet. I'm going to descend a thousand feet. Yeah. Yep. As soon as I take off, I'm climbing, and whenever I'm getting ready to land, I'm descending. But when you're over the airport, you always try to fly over the airport. If something happened, you could land right then if the engine quit. Yeah. When you're starting the engine up, if something happens and it catches on fire, they say to keep turning the engine over, starting it, and maybe that'll suck the flames in. Uh. If you're taking off and the engine dies, you just land right back on the runway. Yeah. If you get a fire when you're out here in the pattern, you dive to put it out, or you just go land immediately and then flee the airplane. If it's on fire, you can shut the fuel off and everything and try and stop the fire, but your best bet is just to land immediately. Cessna 7 Bravo, runway 18 cleared for the option. Runway 18 cleared for the option, 87 Bravo. Yeah, say option, if he, well, or land either way, because we're going to oh. do a full stop. Okay. If you say land, he expects you to get off the runway onto okay. the taxiway. If you say option, the guy says, oh, I could do the full stop taxi back. I could do a stop and go. I could do a touch and go. So let them know what uh -huh. we're going to do, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. yep. A lot of times they'll say clear to land. That means they expect you to get off the runway. You can't do a touch and go. But if you ask, they'll let you say, okay. I want to do the option, or I want to do a touch and go. Oh, you're clear for the option then. That's what they mean. We're going to do an extend again? Yeah, give all yourself right. more time to line up on it and do that descent. If you start descending too fast and you see all red, hold the altitude for a little bit until you get some of those white lights back. If you're not descending and you're way, way white and they're all white, then descend a little bit faster than 500 feet per minute. You'll see this little magenta line over yeah. here. When you're descending at 500 feet, it'll be right in the middle. And then at 1,000 feet per minute, that's when you're capturing those red lights coming down. As soon as you see one of the red lights come in, you start to shallow it out a little bit and go back to that 500 feet per minute. All right. It all depends on your airspeed. A good rule of thumb is you take half of your airspeed. Let's say we're going 100 miles an hour. Half of that is 50, and then multiply by 10. That's 500 feet per minute descent. Okay. If you're doing 80, you could do 400 feet per minute, and it works out just perfect for that three degrees of slope. Yep. And then there's certain things that you could do. If you turn too early and you're really high and you want to lose altitude, pull the power back all the way to idle, put the carburetor heat in, put in all your flaps, and then slow it down to like 70. That gives you more time to lose altitude. Or okay. you could put it into a slip. You could push the airplane sideways against the wind, and that causes more drag and slows you down even more. Or you could even zigzag across that final approach course, do little S turns. Or you could do a 270. So I want to do a right 360 or something. You're going to go all the way around because you're way high. Yep, pull the power back to 1700. You're going to start your descent. Put the carburetor heat on, the landing lights on. I always go through the whole checklist. Right. Heat belts, gas on both, mixture rich, carburetor heat on, landing lights on. Start your turn to final. Secure. Yep, okay. keep turning. All right. Yep, keep your airspeed up over 80. Yep, so we want to hold it. We're just about all red. I got three red and one white. Yep. That's it. Yeah. So it looks like we're going down the taxiway, but we're going to move over about 20 feet or whatever that is over there. But you're looking good. You got two red and two white. Start your descent about 500 feet. Uh-huh. And then go back to the right a little bit. We're going to line up down the runway. 
You could use that rudder a little bit to help line you up. Yep, it's going to be straight down the runway. Just like you're lining up on the bowling alley or a pool cue. I use a pool cue a lot, or used to play pool. Yep, pull the power back. We want to slow it down under 100. We should be doing about 90 or 80. Put in your flaps whenever you're ready. We know we've got the airport made. 10, 20, 30. Okay. There we go. Now you've got your airspeed. You're going to keep it up to 80 until we get to the runway. If you have to add power, or push the nose down. Yep. Yeah, there you go. You're having to correct. Yep. Okay, now you can pull the power out. We're going to start gliding it in again. Why are you leaning to the left? What's that all about? <laughs> I don't know. I feel here. like I need to be left. Oh, here. Let's go straight down the runway. It doesn't feel straight to me. It feels yeah. like I'm on the right side. And then we round out and we flare right before we touch down. <laughs> there we go. That was maximum braking. That was a short field landing. 87 Bravo, runway 18 taxi via Alpha. 18 Alpha, 87 Bravo. Yeah, that was a max performance takeoff and landing, or, or landing. <coughs> RP in, mix in. Landing lights. Any lights off. There you go. Yeah, whatever you put in to land, the flaps, the carburetor heat, the landing lights, you just take it back off after you land. All right. Normally, you know, you'll taxi off and then you'll go to the hangar. So you can clean all that stuff up before you go to the hangar. But certainly before you take off again, yeah. you've got to take the flaps off. Yep. Carburetor heat doesn't help you either on takeoff. Unless you're getting ice, you know. Carburetor heat takes a few uh, RPMs off of your max. Yep. Takes a little horsepower out. I have had to have the carburetor heat on before certain times of the year whenever it was the temperature was just right and the dew point was really close, like they were the same almost, temperature dew point. And we had full throttle. I mean, it was, I was getting cruise. I was doing 2,000, you know, 2,200 RPMs, and I started hearing it sounding rough and missing. Pulled the carburetor heat on. It cleaned up. I got Kyle. Springdale Tower, 6487 Bravo, holding short, one way, one eight. Cessna 87 Bravo, runway 18 cleared for takeoff, enter left traffic. Runway 18 cleared for takeoff, left traffic. 87 Bravo. Good, that's right. Off, mix yep. in, carb heat in, fuel on both. Alright. Alright. Yeah, you always want to look at those flaps. Pull up. Yep. Pull in. Yep, there let it go. speed up to 75. Keep practicing on lining up down that runway every time you're over it. If the engine quit right now, you just have to land wherever you could. It may be a schoolyard or something. I've always thought about this schoolyard over here, but you could land it in that field right there maybe. As long as you get the wheels down, you, know, you might run into a tree or something, but you'll walk away. That's stage 7 Bravo. Uh, change your instructions. Enter right traffic this time. Right traffic, 8-7 Bravo. Yep, so you're going to make right turns. Okay. Yep, when you get to 18, 1900 feet, we're going to turn right. And they do that because they expect traffic coming from the, the east or something. He knows what's coming in or expected to land. Sometimes there'll be a King Air come in from Little Rock or something. Yep. Or one of these Citation jets or something. There's a couple of jets that come in. Lots of King Airs. Yep. So 
little bit of right rudder. There you go. Keep it coordinated. Keep that ball in the center. They say step on the ball. Yep. And then the highway over here is about a mile away. Okay. Yeah. Yep, pull the power back a little bit. Yep, hold your altitude here, about 23, 24. I just stay parallel to the runway. If you wanted to, you could look at your heading. Your heading's going to be 18 or 36 if you're parallel to it. Yep, yep. Cessna 87 Bravo, extend down when I'll call your base turn. You're going to be number two following a citation. Extending downwind 87 Bravo, number two. Yep, there's a citation. I knew it. Somebody was coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's got a reason for whatever he does. Uh, we'll see if we can see him on port flight. Oh, since he extended, we wait to base until he tells us. Yep. All right. Yeah, we just keep going until we see the jet and we tell him we see it or he tells us that we can turn. Okay. Yep. Looks like a little, little rain up there. Some clouds building up. I didn't know it was going to rain today. I hope it does, though, because it'll cool it off. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's going to be hot this week. But yeah, I see this guy. He's coming from Rogers, straight in for the runway. There he is. 2,000 feet above us, 1,900 feet above us. 8 Sierra Bravo. Oh wait, he's turning. That guy just took off from Rogers. I guess that's not the one. Here's one that's coming. 5 Bravo Tango. He's downwind. 900 feet above us over there. Yeah, he's just going so fast though. We'd just be in his way if we turned. Traffic inside, 87 Bravo. Just 87 Bravo, Roger. I plan to follow the citation off your right side. Affirmative. Following the citation, 87 Bravo. Okay, so he's going to turn. He's already on final, probably, or just about it. So go ahead and turn your right base. All right. Yep. Once you pass them on final, you can turn your base because that keeps you a mile away. Citation 525 Bravo Tango, Springdale Tower, yep. Springdale, Citation 525, Bravo Tango, so we do visual 1-8. Yep, he's right there. Pull back the power a little bit. We're going to start slowing it down to 100. Springdale Tower, runway 1-8, yep. cleared to land. 
The wind is 080 at 7 altimeter to 997. Yeah. Good. Clear to land, 97, 5 Bravo Tango. Yep. And when you're landing behind the jet. 87 Bravo, runway 18 cleared option. Clear the option, 87 Bravo. Good. Yeah, if you're landing after a jet, if you land shortly after it, you want to touch down past after, the point. Yeah. yeah. If you take off, you want to take off before the point he lifts off because that's when he starts making those wingtip vortices and the weak turbulence. Yeah. Good. Looks like I'm too low. Yeah, you're all right. We'll just hold this altitude 2,000 feet all the way till you get to the runway. You won't be descending anymore, so you got to hold your altitude the same. Oh, we're like 600, 700 feet above the ground. Yep, hold your altitude 2,000. Good. Yeah, they'll be all red until you get there, and when you get close enough and they say white and red, then you can start your descent. Okay. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit more to the left. So if you start turning early and you get around there, you just take some bank angle out and slow it down or go back to straight and level until you get there. Yep. A lot of people make a mistake here, turning base to final. They'll overbank to try to get back to it, and then they'll use the opposite rudder to try to line up on the runway, and they get in a cross-controlled stall. That's an accelerated stall. It stalls faster. Five Bravo Tango, taxi to park this frequency. All right, stay with you. Five Bravo Tango. Yep, pull your nose up. Well, we're going to slow it down to under 100 and put in your flaps. Go through that checklist, seatbelt, gas on both, mixture rich, carburetor heat on, landing lights on. Carburetor heat and landing lights. Lights. Yep. Carb heat. Yep. All right. There you go. Last call to the tower is garbled, say again. All right, five Bravo Tango. Um, obviously, you talk to approach all the time. Uh, got a new guy over there on approach control. Uh, they have several new people. There's a lot of training going on down there. Yeah, I mean, we were like... <laughs> I just said something. We'd have been crossing the runway. That's what they did. They didn't hand him off. turned down wind, and then he told us his power was 18.6 instead of 18.2. Seemed like he was all of a sudden overloaded. I um, just was wondering. Yep. That's why he didn't get handed yeah, off. Sure there's uh, training going on this morning. Yeah, I was about ready to come over to tower myself, but I, you know what? I don't want to make those guys mad. We deal with them every day. Yeah, right Round out and hold, hold it off the ground. Oh, there at uh, the end. That's okay. Did you see it? Bird go fly by. We almost had a bird strike. Oh, yeah. So we're going down to the next wonder. exit. Okay. That was okay. That was that was a good one. That was yeah, pretty good. So when you get down there about 10 feet off the ground, or you may start off at 20, we were round out and fly parallel to the ground, and, and then, then you'll start sinking that last yeah. little bit, and it makes it easier yeah, to flare. Memory. Rather than just go, I want to yeah. keep it yeah. that way. Yeah, at the very end there, you yeah, round it out and kind of landed, kind of bounced a little yeah. bit. That's okay. Try and prevent that. Just 87 Bravo Taxi, uh, runway 18V Alpha. 18V Alpha, 87 Bravo. Yep. Yeah, you're getting practice doing both. Taxiing and taking off and landing, so that's why we do the taxi back. It really does, it, it gets people, sometimes they get in a hurry whenever you're trying to do a touch and go. Yeah. They they land it and then you tell them to take off again, they freak out, you know, they go, oh, what do I do? You know, they give it full problem trying to take off with the flaps, you can't do that. You gotta remember to take the flaps off first. Yep. Yep. And then you rotate it at 60, which you're almost at 60. A touch and go is a lot of fun, but it's a lot of danger too. Yeah, because you touch down, you're doing 60, and then all of a sudden you're taking back off again. You got to remember, you set up everything for the takeoff. So the the times that you're so low and you'll only do full stop taxi back, you won't do touch and goes until you get your license, okay. unless you're with an instructor or somebody else that has a license. Okay. Yeah, it gives you more time to think and make sure you're ready to go. When you get down here to the end, you look around, you go, "Did I do the pre-flight or the pre-takeoff checklist? Yes, I did. So now I'm ready." Yeah. And you can memorize that. Just rehearse it, make a little 3 by 5 index card and write down the landing checklist and the takeoff checklist and just flip it over and yeah, rehearse it back and forth. Yep. That's what I did. And then yeah, sometimes I would be walking to class or something at the university and I remember studying for stuff, going to school and coming home. I would just 
rehearse it over and over and over again. Just say it again and again and again. If I wrote it down three or four times, I'd have it memorized. Yeah. Yep. That's another way. Yeah. And there's like a safety briefing. If you're going to, when you go take your practical, when you get your license, You'll tell the guy, you know, make sure you have your seatbelt on, you know, in the event of an accident, I'll meet you at the back of the airplane because I don't want you running into the propeller. That's, That's always a good one. Yeah. Yeah, they like to hear that. In the event of an accident, be sure and open your door before we touch down. I want you to get out safely and I'll meet you at the back of the airplane. Something like that. Yeah. You can make up your own custom sayings, you know, as a pilot. You're going to be saying certain things over and over and over again to people. Do you have your seatbelt on? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Make sure you have it on when you're on takeoff and landing, but they say when you get up to cruise altitude, you can take it off, but where are you going to go? You know, yeah. take your seatbelt off. Well, I might crawl in the back, back there and take a nap. I don't know. <laughs> you could. Yeah, I've had people do that. I've, I've laid back there and taken a nap before. All right. Yep, call him up. Springdale Tower, uh, Skyhawk 6487, Bravo, holding short, one one eight one eight. Skyhawk 87, Bravo, uh, runway 18, clear for takeoff, enter left traffic. 18, clear for takeoff, left traffic, 87, Bravo. Good. Yeah, this will probably be the last one. Alright, so that one bounced because I didn't... You didn't level off or round out. So you round out about 10 feet or maybe even 20 feet above the ground. And then you let it sink that last ten feet or five feet. You get a you get an idea or a feel for it. It's all in the timing. Yep. yep. Left down one eight. Mix in. Good. Yep. Mix your reach. In. Good. And landing lights off. All right. All right. Keep pulling back until it takes off. And you want to push on the bottoms of the pedals and not the tops, because that will hold the brakes back a little bit. You don't want that when you're taking off. Notice when we lifted off a little bit, it kind of felt like we lurched off the ground, because there was a little bit of brake grabbing. Ah, uh, okay. That's okay. A lot of people do it, so I have to remind them to touch the bottoms of the pedals. I keep my feet kind of in the bottom. My heels on the floor, and then when I want to use the brakes, I pick them up and put them on the tops of the pedals. Gotcha. Yep. So once that throttle goes in, your, your feet go to the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all the way on the floor, and I'm touching the bottoms of the pedals. Don't need the brakes on takeoff. <laughs> but a lot of people do that, though. I just ordered two new tires, because that one's showing over there. I got some cords showing. I'm going to pick them up today from Tommy Lee. Tires and something else. Oh, that tow bar. There's a guy here at the field. I don't know if you're familiar with Tommy Lee. It's called Air Adventure. He's got the big hangar to the right of the terminal okay. when you're driving up there. Quebec, you're going to be following Cessna traffic at uh, 12 o'clock and 3 miles. Uh, yeah, go ahead and start your turn. All right. Yeah, Tommy Lee's got a little shop there in his office. You can buy books there or a headset. You know, he's got all kinds of stuff. If you need any little knickknack, or he can order it for you. I will start turn to the north when I come back. I get my oil and stuff from him. He's got a good discount. Just 87 Bravo traffic at 11.30 to 12 o'clock and a mile and a half turning northbound Cessna. Traffic inside, 87 Bravo. Just 87 Bravo, Roger. I plan to follow that uh, Cessna. Roger, we're number two, 87 Bravo. Yep, so just keep flying. Two eight one nine Quebec, runway 18 cleared to land. The wind is now um, 080 at 4 altimeter 2997. That's a little crosswind. You got a four knot crosswind coming across at a 90 yeah. degree angle almost, or 80 degrees. So do I extend my crosswinds away from him? Go ahead and turn. Okay. And we can slow it down, pull the power back. 
Yeah, Blue 6 7 November Golf, Springdale Tower. Good morning. Uh, you're cleared to the Johnson County Executive Airport via the Spring 5 departure, then as filed. Climb and maintain 4,000. Expect 1 0, 000, 1 0 minutes after departure. Yep, we're just going to stay about a mile back. I always try to keep a mile separation between the guy in front of me and the pattern. All right, 6 7 November Golf's going to Johnson County. Spring 5 departure then is filed, 4,000 up to 10,000, 126.6 and 1023 on the squawk. So someone's going yeah, IFR somewhere? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, when you do the Spring 5 departure, you're on an instrument flight plan. Yeah. Yep. And they go at uh, thousands of feet. Yeah. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. We go at 1,500 or 2,500. We always add 500 per VFR. And you have to have an IFR airplane and a pilot if you want to go above 18,000 feet. Doesn't matter if there's clouds or not. Alpha to 1-8 for 7 of Golf, thanks. Yep. Cessna 87 Bravo, follow the Cessna ahead of you. Runway 1-8 cleared for the option. Clear the option, 1-8, number 2. Yeah, he needs to start turning. He's real low. Look at him. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it looked like he was low. He was just he was doing a short approach. See how close he was to the runway? He was turning over over that potato chip factory or whatever that is. Blaze, I think, owns that building. We're going to extend again? No, you can turn anytime you want. All right. Yep, you can go out if you want and, and turn over that past that water tower or all the way around the end. This will be the last I'm one. We'll go around the water tower. Okay. I don't like flying over tall things. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, eventually you'll have to cross over this hill, though. I come over at night. Sometimes I can see people in their houses eating dinner. <laughs> Taxi to park this frequency. Taxi to park this frequency will not come back. I always wonder. I wonder if they can see me. You know, <laughs> if they're looking out, they could. Yeah, if they're looking out the window. That's how I saw them. Keep out secure. Gas on both, mixture rich, carburetor heat on, mixture landing rich, lights on. Start heat on, landing that's lights it. on. All right. Pull the power back to 1700, that's how you start your descent. Yep. All right. That's it. And then keep your airspeed up over 90. When you turn on final, then that's when I let it come down to about 80. Yep. And I put the flaps in whenever you know you've got the airport made. I come in on final at 80 miles an hour, cross the runway at 70, and touch down at 60 with 30 degrees of flaps. If you don't use the flaps, you land about 10 miles an hour faster. Come in at 90, cross the runway at 80, and land at 70 with no flaps. Too far again. Just a little bit. That's, that's okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, just go back over to it a little bit, and then start your descent down. Yep, we've got one red light. As long right. as you're going under 100, you can put your flaps in, and that's going to slow you down even more. Yep. Yeah, let's pull the power back to 1,700 or less. One red. Yeah, I'd pull more out. That's it. Come in at 80, cross the runway at 70, and touch down at 60. You got your flaps in, everything's set. One more. Go. There you go. All right. There's good. two red, two whites. Yep. Yeah, looking good. You're keeping the nose down, pointing towards the numbers. That's what I always say. I'm pointing towards the numbers because that's where I want to land. Yep. Push your nose down a little bit. Air, air speed. You can keep it up to 70 before you get to the runway. Or you can give it a boost of gas and then take it back out. If you want to, you can take it back out. And now you're just going to glide it in. There was a little bit of wind there that was blowing you around. It wasn't easy. All and right. then just hold it right over the middle if you can. Touch down about 60 miles an hour. And you use those rudders to keep your nose wheel pointing down the runway. Use that rudder pedal. 
if it starts to look like you're going off the runway that way, you got to use that nose rudder to straighten it out. Yeah. Yep. Whether you land on the left side, the right side, or the middle, you want to be going straight down the runway. Okay. Good. We'll stop to park 87 Bravo. Cessna 87 Bravo, taxi to park this frequency. Thanks with you. Thanks for your help, 87 Bravo. Anytime. And Springdale Malibu 67 November Golf is ready to depart 18 holding short. Malibu 7 November Golf, Roger, I'll get a release for you. Yep, give it a little bit of throttle when you start turning because it's going to slow down even more. That's what I do once I, once I start to turn. Yep. Malibu 67 November Golf, runway 18 clear for takeoff. Yep. Taxi across the line here, and you can stop here if you want to, to take off the flaps and the carburetor right. heat and the landing lights. Yep. Right. This is where you clean up the aircraft. There you go. Yeah, perfect. All right. Yeah, and you leaned it to taxi. I like that. Yeah, that was good, Ben. All right. Yeah, good first day. Of good, I mean, this is really the second day of practicing because we did it before once, but we'll do this again, and then... The day that you solo, we'll go around three times, and I'll get out, and I'll watch you go around three times, just like that. Full stop, taxi back. Okay. And then, uh, if it's, the restaurant's open, you get half off of your breakfast if you want to go eat afterwards, or okay. whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll schedule that. Yeah, maybe not next lesson, but the lesson after that, I think you'll be ready to solo. Okay. Yeah. It's always up to you. I mean, if you, if you want to invite your friends out, you want to make a special day of it, you know, we'll do that. We'll set up a day, Saturday or Sunday or whatever day you want to do it. The restaurant's not open Sunday and Monday, but they're open Tuesday through Saturday. Okay. Yeah. If I do Saturday, then, if, yeah. we're, if we're ready, yeah. Yeah, cool. Get my whole, all the kids out and everything? Yeah. Yeah, that's what a lot of people do. Some people do that. Bring their wives or their girlfriends or their mom or their dad, whatever. Yeah. Malibu 7 November Golf, contact departure. Good morning. Thanks. See you later. Yeah, and the restaurant says you can bring alcohol in. They just don't have a liquor license uh -huh. yet, so they can buy it. But they can serve it. I guess they can give you the glasses or something. Yeah. I haven't done that yet, but I've heard people say, oh, yeah, we're going to have a party. <laughs> <laughs> I know some people that party like that. They'll get drunk. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have to put it up. We can just stop right here and I'll just spin it around. All right. Mixture mags and master. All right, mix uh, out. Yep. All right. Magnetos. Off and master. Yep. Avionics. And avionics, that's right. Yep. Yeah, we'll get some new tires.